Hello everyone, this is Maidin. This is Rajesh. Doing MBA in Aditya School of Business Management. This video documentary is about the competitive analysis of Puma and Adidas. Let's begin from the history of Puma and Adidas. In 1924, Rudolf and his brother Adolf Dassler has jointly formed the company Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory. The relationship between the two brothers deteriorated until they agreed to split in 1948, forming the two separate entities Puma and Adidas. Puma is a German multinational corporation headquartered in Bavaria, Germany. Puma is the third largest sportswear manufacturer in the world. The company was founded in 1948. Let's see about Adidas history. Adidas stylish in all over uh, lower cases since 1949. In German Athletic Apparel and Footwear Corporation headquarters in uh, uh, Bavaria, Germany. It is the largest uh, sportwear manufacturer in Europe and the second largest in the world. Puma offers the products for football, basketball, running, training and fitness, golf, cricket, motor sports and athleisure. Adidas manufactures a range of clothing items varying from men's and women's. T-shirts, jackets, hoodies, pants and leggings. The first Adidas item of apparel was the France Benkoir tracksuit created in 1967. Adidas is the largest manufacturer of sports brass in Europe and the second largest manufacturer in the world. Puma India has signed actor Shania Kapoor as its new brand ambassador to strengthen its connect with Gen Z consumers in the country, India. Uh, Germany's leading footwear and accessory manufacturer Adidas Originals has uh, unveiled a new campaign furthering a uh, brand ambassador and Bollywood superstar Ranveer Singh. Let's see the market size and sales of Puma. Puma posted a 46% jump in sales for last fiscal year that is 2022, maintaining its pole position as the largest sports brand in India. According to the latest filings with the register of companies with revenues of Rs. 2980 crores during 2022. Puma outsold its rivals Adidas, Nike, Reebok all put together. The retailer said increasing awareness about the fitness and surging demand for the athleisure wear helped the segment while increasing the travel boom led to, led to people spending more on the casual wear. Let's see about the market size and sales of Adidas. In 2022, nearly 40% of the Adidas group's net sales were genera generated in EMEA region. Uh, sales shares from the key regions of North America and Greater China stood at 28 and 14% respectively. In the year of pandemic in 2020, however, sales has dropped slightly in terms of product categories, foodware sales reached over 12 billion euros in 2022. An increase in roughly on the previous year and this is the correspondent to estimated 55% shares of Adidas net sales. Apparel makes the mix of the company's second largest product segments. The marketing strategies of Puma Strategic Collaborations Puma has mastered the art of collaboration, teaming up with the influential athletes, fashion designers and cultural icons to create a captivating collections that match performance and style. By leveraging the power of collaboration, Puma expands its reach taps into new audience and infuses its brands with fresh perspectives. Sponsorship and Endorsements Puma secures high-profile sponsorships and endorsements, aligning itself with top athletes and sports teams. By associating its brand with excellence and achievement, Puma enhances its credibility and resonates with consumers who aspire to greatness. Then, bold and memorable ad campaigns. Puma's advertising campaigns are the feast for the senses, characterized by their energy, creativity, and boundary-pushing visuals. The brand consistently delivers memorable campaigns that captive audience and leave a lasting impression, solidifying its position as a brand that dares to be different. Localization. Puma tailors its marketing effort to specific region acknowledging cultural nuances and preferences. By embracing the localization, Puma creates a sense of relevance and resonance, ensuring its messaging and products align with the needs and desires of diverse markets.
Let's see about the marketing strategies of Adidas. Adidas is also renewed for its open source approach, collaborating with innovative to push the boundaries of authentic athletic performance and advance its brand image simultaneously. The innovation extends beyond R&D and product excellence to its stores customers experience. Adidas uh, flagship stores strat uh, strategically located in influential urban centers are filtered with state-of-the-art tech including interactive fitting rooms. Digital marketing is the significant part of Adidas marketing strategy with 90% of the marketing budget spent on digital and social campaign. For example, the Adi Club lo uh, loyalty app enables US customers to acquire points which can be redeemed for various rewards and offers. It also offers the free shipping on online purchase and members only access to exclusive products and new releases. The character of the Adidas brand is evident in its slogan, impossible is nothing which has not first created in 1974, taken from a quote by boxing legend Muhammad Ali. Puma's generic strategy is differentiation, broadly applied to business operations in the global market. Based on the Portus model, this generic strategy creates competitive advantage by developing the uniqueness of business and its products, such as through innovation in the design of athletic footwear. The competitive advantages of the Adidas are that there is a strong brand value on the effective market influence, logistics, customer trust. Let's come on to the conclusion for this analysis. Puma have annual revenue of $9.35 billion with the change of 5.22% comparing to 2022. Adidas have an annual revenue of $23.43 billion with the change of minus 0.87 percentage comparing to 2022. Both are the market leaders in the sportswear manufacture sector. Puma has advantage in India by outsolding its competitors Adidas, Nike, uh, Reebok, etc.